Hey, what's up my Space Cowboys, Jude here, and we finally have the scan for Android 17 along with the new stage and the Halloween themed costumes for lobby avatars and stickers and whatnot. So to get right into it, let's go ahead and start talking about Android 17. So previously before we did not know which version of Android 17 they were, they were going to use and it seems like it is confirmed now that it is Dragon Ball Super Android 17 as you can tell by the outfit he's wearing and then some of the moves were kind of like a dead giveaway but getting started let's talk about Android 17's moves. So the first one I wanted to bring up was the barrier explosion and I'll go ahead and read the little description for you. Surrounds his body in a barrier before charging forward. This can also be used in the air. Android 17 goes ahead and he activates his barrier. He charges forward and he starts a relentless barrage of punches. Now what's interesting is the fact that the barrier itself disappears once he lands the attack. So I wonder if this move is going to have some type of hyper armor or is it going to be a protective barrier versus um, you know uh, projectile attacks as he's coming in is this going to be an answer for projectiles I'm interested in learning about that it almost seems like it is and it'd be a, a, a missed opportunity if it isn't now the next picture I'm looking at seems to be hinting that Android 17 is going to be a very mobile character a very fast character and I'm not sure if he's going to have some type of move uh, a command for his movement it almost seems like he is I'm going to assume he's going to be a very fast character looking at the this I, I'm gonna assume that's a super jump back back dash maybe well it, it seems different than normal from what we're used to seeing in Dragon Ball Fighters and then it shows like the speed lines on the dash forward so I'm going to just assume that Android 17 is gonna be a very fast character a very mobile character and he may have some movement options tied to commands so I'm interested in seeing how that plays out Hopefully we'll get a trailer soon. Normally when they release uh, the V-Jump scan, the trailer follows soon after. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get it sometime this weekend. Now this next move I'm looking at, it, I don't think they actually described this move because I'm not seeing it here and what they have before. Seems like a move where he has two energy beams and re he releases them at different times. I'm not sure if you're going to have control, control over it. I am going to assume you are. It almost looks like that's what they're inferring. I apologize, I can't read this kanji Japanese, but it does seem like Android 17, one of his supers at least, is going to be controllable in terms of him releasing a key blast at a time or an energy beam at a time. These next pictures I'm looking at is going to be his end game move and it, they describe it as goes around behind the enemy and continuously attacks. As you can see here, obviously, he does swipe Goku from behind. It kind of looks like a sucker punch because it completely catches him off guard. He follows up with a kick and then he stomps him into the ground. Looks amazing. I, I really like what I'm seeing from Android 17. But moving on to the final move that we have in regards to Android 17. This is going to be his meteor attack, the super electric slide. For anyone who's played Xenoverse, Android 17 and 18 both have this move. And they describe it as swirls around energy that builds up in his hands, then fires it off. This can also be used in the air. So if it's as annoying as it was in Xenoverse, I already know it's going to be a problem in Fighters because this is a 2D plane. And in Xenoverse, you were, you were in a, a, an entire arena. So having this in a 2D plane, I can see it being very annoying. It also looks like this move may be... I, I'm not sure if I'm... I'm getting a theme here with Android 17, but it almost seems like it can repel energy energy beams or any attack that may be coming towards it. It just looks like a vortex to me. That's just me making a, an assumption. But I want you guys to let me know what you think about the way Android 17 looks so far. Based off of what I'm seeing, he looks, well, obviously he looks true to the character from Dragon Ball Super. From the attacks that he has, I am happy that he is definitely going to be playing different from Android 18. I had a little bit of a fear of the fact that they may have made Android 17 maybe a little bit of a clone. Maybe they would have added one or two extra moves to differentiate them. But I am happy to see that he is entirely his own new character. Seems like he's going to have, well, it doesn't seem like he definitely is going to have a completely different playstyle. He isn't going to have Android 17 as an assist like Android 18 has 17 for her assist. And he has a, 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 a an array of moves that I'm interested in seeing how they play out. The barrier looks cool. I want to see more in terms of if that thing actually is going to, you know, deflect any type of energy beam that may be, you know, that may be coming at it. 
I have a feeling that it may go through energy beams. Obviously, don't quote me on that. We haven't seen any gameplay of this, and it's not confirmed there. But we shall see soon enough, because he will be releasing at the end of the month. It looks like he's going to be a mobile character very fast. I'm going to assume that he's going to have some type of command command for his dashes. Don't quote me on that. I mean, it's just what I'm seeing. It's just the impression that I'm getting. But, like I said, we'll see soon enough. And then he has this new move right here where he has two energy beams that he's holding and he releases them one at a time. One thing to take note of is he starts this move on the ground but he it seems like he jumps back and then he releases them one at a time. Now we don't know if he's going if that's something that's just timed where the move does it by itself where he just you know it, it's it's an animation or is it going to be similar to you know if you've played with Gotenks if you've seen him he has two different types of his ghost attacks where one of them he does they immediately just go at the opponent and then the second one is controlled by one of the, the buttons so hopefully we get that type of option that'll add some diversity next up we have endgame honestly this one seems like it's going to be tons of fun it looks like it may put you in an advantageous situation because he is stomping them into the ground um there's a lot of animation for this move for it to be a level one i'm i'm curious if this is going to be a level three because the amount of work that they put into this this honestly looks more like a level three than his you know his super electric strike but that's just me now the super electric strike like i said it looks like it's going to be very annoying based off the fact that it's a vortex it looks like it may be a move that can reflect projectiles now don't quote me on that once again like i said this is just me making assumptions based off of what i'm seeing from the move well the vibe that i'm getting from the move because what i'm seeing is it's just destroying it's destroying goku in the picture but my overall impressions of 17 it almost seems like he's going to be a very offensive character it almost i i think he's probably going to be the better character of the two in terms of 17 and cooler you guys already know how this goes when they release dlc one of the characters is all right and then the other character is going to be someone that you put you know on your team they can be they can be top tier now moving on past that let me go ahead and talk about the stage because they do have it showcased here and this stage looks a little bit different this stage does not look like anything we've seen in dragon ball fighters and this is something that i had predicted before when i was mentioning if they were to make a stage or if they were to bring in a dlc stage for dragon ball fighters i don't think it would be a stage in terms of something like you know a brand new stage like oh it's master roshi's uh island or anything like that they would make a stage where it's almost going to be similar to capcom i don't know if you guys play street fighter 5 or even uh watch it or anything but street fighter 5 what they did was they brought in the, the capcom pro world stage i believe it's called it's pretty much like a champion stage this is almost this almost seems like dragon ball fighters version of it i'll be honest it's not as flashy as the capcom stage uh, or the Street Fighter 5 stage I'm not but then again this is just a still image obviously they're setting up you know the whole crowd they have the arena they have the as you can see they have the uh, the scoreboards and and and, pro and uh, projectors and everything so this is supposed to be a big event this is supposed to be a stage a world stage in a sense so I wonder if this is their answer to cap well not an answer but their version of it but that's just my opinion you guys go ahead and let me know what you think about the stage to me right now it seems okay seems a little bland doesn't seem to be anything amazing and if you guys can take a look in the background we can clearly see both goku and vegeta's icons or their character profile pictures up on the screen in the back or both screens in the back so clearly i have a very good feeling i'm almost confident that this is going to be the stage that they make um all the what do they call it the dragon ball fighters world tour I'm pretty sure every time Grand Finals come around, you're going to have to play on this stage because they obviously want to advertise the stage and whatnot. I'm pretty sure that's what they made the stage for. So, I think that's a neat little addition right there. And then finally, we have the lobby avatars and the stickers Halloween theme that will be running until late November, I believe they said. Where we see a little wolf Goku. I'm not sure if that's wolf or like Inuyasha Goku. Vegeta as like Dracula. You have Beerus dressed up with a uh, pumpkin head. And I think that's Kid Buu dressed up as a witch, like he's Gruntilda. And then we just have a lot of other ones. We have Gohan, we have Android 21, we have Gotenks, the perfect character for this. Android 16, I'm not sure who- is that supposed to be Hit? I don't know who that is in the mummy suit. I mean, it could only be- it can really only be Beerus, right? I'm gonna assume that's who it is. But that is going to be it for the stickers and the Halloween theme. They're pretty cool to me. You guys let me know what you think. 
And last but not least, we finally have a confirmed release date for the DLC. It's going to be the 27th of this month. So that is next week Thursday. And if we're going to be getting them next week Thursday, I can almost guarantee that we're going to be seeing a Android 17 trailer at TGS this coming weekend. As you guys already know, you should, well, if you don't know, now you will know, TGS will be going on this weekend and Bandai Namco will be there. And they did mention that, you know, Dragon Ball Fighters will be there as well. So, wouldn't be surprised if they show off Android 17 there with their trailer. Or, you know, they could always do what they've done previously in the past and... <laughs> They'll just release the, 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 the trailer on Twitter and YouTube and call it a day. But hopefully they give it a little bit more attention and they go ahead and show it off at TGS, which I'm sure they're going to do. But that is going to be it. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Let me know what you guys think about Android 17. What do you think about the stage? What do you think about these custom, well not custom, but what do you guys think about these Halloween themed lobby avatar stickers and whatnot? Me, I personally think everything looks great. Really looking forward to playing with Android 17. I'm looking forward more to him than I am Cooler. But, you know, you guys let me know who are you more interested for. 17, Cooler, what do you think about him? What do you think about the stage? What do you think about the Halloween theme? And can you believe we finally have a release date? Once again, this is what they always do. We get the release date the week before they actually come out. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys for all with me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you mash that like button. It really helps the channel out. If you're new here, subscribe and click the notification bell. And until next time, Space Cowboys. Bang.